Lake vying for its first title in program history, taking on Heath, who only lost two games all season. Now, a couple of familiar faces wearing blue as Toledo's Mike Kuhn was calling the, making the calls behind the plate. His brother Mark is the second base umpire. Now, the Bulldogs' bats were locked in. Riley Baum bounces one towards Jay Blazevich. He makes the play at second, but Connor Corbett still scores as Heath strikes first. They'd add to it in the second when Hayden Woodward lifts this hit into right for the RBI single, making it 3 nothing. But the Flyers fire back in the third. Ryan Wagner with a grounder to the shortstop. Gavin Kohlhofer will score on fielder's choice to get Lake on the board. The Flyers' defense then holds off the dogs the rest of the way. Check out this nifty double play. It's Blazevich to Caleb Tobias, who then zips it over to third for another out. But Lake's bats just couldn't muster up another run. Kohlhofer looping this one right to the shortstop, and it's over. Lake finishes as the state runner-up behind a 3-1 to loss. Now, Mark Coons was in Akron and looks back at this memorable season for the Flyers. Midway through this season, the Lake Flyers knew they had something special on their hands, but little could they realize they would make school history, becoming the first Flyer team to reach the state championship game in any sport. And while they came up short against Heath, they made memories and bonds that will last forever. One of the worst parts about a coach is having to say goodbye at the end of the year. Um, but the, the cool thing about this team is we're going to be etched together in history and we don't ever have to say goodbye. And to be part of that team is a great feeling and that will be in the history books forever until we die. It feels amazing. I mean, being able to be the senior class of this and be the leaders of the group, it's no better feeling. This group of 13 guys just cared about each other. They loved each other and they loved to compete. Um, and, and they bought into, you know, what we, what we coached every day in practice and they, they translated it from practice to the field. I'm proud of our guys. Um, one of the things they've done all year is, is they've competed for ev ev you know every inning that we've played, right from the first pitch to the last pitch. Um, and today was today was no different. We got out there. They got up 3-0 on us, and then we started to chip away a little bit. But in the end, I mean, we really just didn't get the clutch moments and get our hits when we needed them and get runs when we had to, when we really needed it, and it just fell short a little bit. We came in here feeling all the confidence in the world and. That's a very good team they are. They're a really good team. They can hit the ball. They feel that, you know, that's baseball. It's, it's just a really good team. We just just didn't play our best today. They execute small ball and, and a couple of their balls, um, you know, that, that wasn't hard contact, they that fell. And, and, and that wasn't the case for us. And, and like I said, sometimes that's just, that's just baseball. Well, we're going to be just as good as next year. You know, some people got to step up, but we're just going to be just as good. We're going to be right back here next year. I'm sure that when I sit and reflect in the next few weeks, um, I'll, that'll be one of the bright spots that, you know, we just started six underclassmen on a, on a state runner-up team and, and um, certainly gives us a good foundation for next year. So while Lake will have plenty coming back next season, they won't be back in Division Three. That's because baseball, like many other OHSA sports, will expand to seven divisions in the 24-25 campaign. In Akron, Mark Hoots, BCSN.